Greetings everyone. I'm still in London, West Virginia. Thought well I'll go ahead and check out the mausoleum while I'm here. Because it'll be a while before I get back up this way. Yeah, it's a very nice view from up here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to uh, do some more vlogs, some more research. Uh, I, really, it's hard to tell who is buried here. I don't know if we have too many famous people buried in this area, but, but maybe. Should I check out, should I check that out? Yeah, I should check that out. Since I'm here, right? Of course. Another view. Yeah, it's getting about, it's about 3.30 now. I do not know what time they locked their gates, but, you know, <laughs> I'm going to do this and get out of here. Need to get home anyway. Long drive. It's a long drive to London. <laughs> Definitely in a, wet, in a wet drive, too. Let's see. I wonder if it's locked. I bet it's locked. And it's locked. And I can't very nice yeah stained glass that's beautiful that's beautiful yes it's lovely it's very nice very nice
Yeah, all in all, it's, it's a nice cemetery. Very nice cemetery. I forget how, how long it dates back. Um, I think one of the burials here was from the 1700s, but they actually, they actually uh, disinterred him and brought him up here. So I think he was buried down in the valley. I guess he was one of the uh, first pioneers to settle the area. Cannot remember his name. Uh, I'm getting old. My memory's getting bad. But that's what happens when you get old. Brady John Fitzwater, U.S. Navy, World War One. Wow. Thank you for your service, sir. Here's the front. It needs a little bit of work, but it's not. It's not too awful bad. Not too awful bad. This is very nice. I like this. Stairs leading up. A bench. It's very nice. Do the honor God and country. First Lady of the U.S. Navy in Europe, 96 to 98. Admiral Thomas Joseph Lopez, United States Navy. Commander-in-Chief, U.S. Navy Forces Europe. Commander-in-Chief, Allied Forces, Southern Europe, 96 to 98. Wow, an admiral. Well, that's a good job. That's a good job. There's some other people searching for loved ones. I talked to a gentleman. He was looking for his uh, grandfather. And <laughs> he's still about as good as I was. It's kind of hard to pinpoint. I know Find a Grave has uh, GPS locations, but if someone has to put the locations on there, it really don't help you any. Um, but hopefully he'll find his grandfather. Best of luck to the man. And I guess I'm going to go ahead and end it on this and head to the house because this rain is really getting to me. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to uh, like, leave a comment. God bless you.